Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to learn how to draw a realistic cupcake. That's why today's tutorial is about cute and sweet food. Who doesn't love that, right? These are the materials that I will be using for this tutorial. So while you're watching, please do subscribe and hit notifications so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Now let's get started. I have the cupcake outline here and if you need the reference, you can contact me on Instagram. The link is in the description. I will be using Polychromos pencils for this and you can use any brand as long as the shades are similar to what I'll be using for this drawing. Starting from the cherry, I will be using shade number 219, fill in the entire cherry leaving some parts white for the highlights. Now I'll use a dark red shade number 217 to use as a mid-tone. After this I'll use a darker shade number 194 for the shadows and fill in the dark areas. In case you would want to learn how to draw cherries separately, you can click the link above or find it in the description. You can use the Q-tip to blend certain areas. The next step is to color the stem of the cherry. For this, I am using the color number 168 and filling the stem for the base layer. Now I am using the darkest green shade number 267 for the shadows and black shade number 199 for the darkest regions of the cherry and stem. Later, using the lightest pink to seal in the highlights and red tones of the cherry. You can use Tombow Mono Eraser to erase certain highlights. Use Sakura White Gel Pen for the highlights. For the icing, under the cherry, We'll be using dark grey 274 to get into the darkest areas to build the shape and later a light grey 271 to add mid-tones. Eighty-seven for the mid-tones. And then use color 180 for a bit more depth while giving straight strokes for the paper texture of the cup.
Now I'm using 176 for the shadows and definition. I will now start coloring the cake with the base layer of shade 180 and shade 107 for the yellow shading in cake. Use 177 shade for shadows under the cream area and black in the darkest areas. Again using the yellow shade 107 on the cake to finalize it. Use white gel pen for the details on the cake. Repeat the same colors and process on the other side. I will be using the base colors for the outlines to separate the cream and syrup areas so we know exactly where to color.
For the dripping syrup, use base color 102 and 171. and 207 for the mid-tones and for the shadows 112. For the cream, use the base color 129 and using 124 for the mid-tones and for the shadows, 133 color. And sometimes use the Q-tip to blend certain areas where you think it is needed. Use the white pencil color to blend areas because it will all seal the 
color is underneath it and it will be the final layer so you, you have to be very careful while using a white pencil or the final blending color to make the sprinkles use the dark purple and pink also use a green and yellow shade to make the cupcake more colorful and adorable Now I'm using the grey and left some parts white for the highlights. And same pinks for the decoration on the wafer. Okay, so this is it for today guys. I hope you liked the video and if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you can see more videos uh, which I solely make for you guys so you can learn. I will be uploading more videos in next week. Till then, take care.